In this video, I want to talk about building your own landing page so that you can actually have people register and bring that into command automatically. So something called a landing page is the ability for a single website to be able to capture someone's information in order to get something from you in return, whether that's a consultation. In my case, I'm gonna do a PDF digital magazine I want them to download specifically for millennials. So here's how I did it. I went to command and I actually clicked the KW and came to consumer. Now in consumer, we're under landing pages. These are single standalone web pages people go to. Um, I'm even able to rename them. As you can see, I've got one for Leave Zillow where I help talk about real estate agents for profit share. Um, and I've also got one for millennials. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I built. So here is what I did. I clicked create new site and you're gonna want a standalone page, meaning it's not part of your website. It's just a page by itself, which allows people to learn information and I can share it and post on social media. So that's the one I clicked on and here is the page that I created. Now on the left hand side is the ability to change the name. So first thing you wanna do is change it. And then on the right hand side, you've got what we call widgets. So the widgets I used for this is first a video widget. So this is actually a YouTube video embedded. This also gave me some ability to put some text here. Um, I also used a content blocks where I brought in an image and this is the image widget where I had an image I created on my phone to encourage people to register below to download a 22 page custom guide for millennials from Keeping Current Matters that I customized. Then I went back to widgets and also included one that was a lead form, meaning give me your name, number, email address, phone number, and any notes that you want, and it's going to automatically pull into command so I know exactly what they were coming from. Then I added the one that says local expert, which will be my branding below that. And then I decided to add the download my app widget as well. And then I ended with one that says uh, legal footer so that I can make sure it's compliant and all the legal information is here. So first thing you wanna do is add all the widgets that you need. Um, I will give you a tip and trick because it's not always us optimized for mobile. What I have learned is you wanna use the layout blocks if you're gonna add your own. Like when I added the image, I used layout blocks for the one third section. Basically it means a one, two, three, kind of like three columns and I use the center column so that it always centers my image or whatever it is. Um, then I came to content blocks for this one and I just dragged over image. The image is a little tricky. I'll show you that if I click on the image or if I were to add another one here, it makes you choose the file and here's how this works just in case you have issues. I select the image that I want. It takes it a minute to upload until it shows up in the list and it doesn't actually add the item to the list till I click on it. So when I click on it, notice it adds the image. Now in this example, I already have this image, I don't need it twice, but I just wanted to show you, here's the new image and what I learned, don't leave it large like this. I'm actually going to come over here and shrink this down so that it fits center more and that's one of the ways that I got it to fit and on a mobile phone that means it shouldn't be too large. So I've already got this widget. I'm actually going to delete this one. I already have an image. All right, and then I came back to widgets and I used the lead form, which we're gonna customize, and everything else. Now, once you've added your widgets, they don't look like this to start. So you come over here to configure widgets and you'll see I have six widgets I need to configure. My video one, my lead form, my local expert, download my app and a legal footer. So I have five widgets I'm using that need to be configured. And you have to do this in order for it to work. Otherwise it sticks with the generic or templated information. So I'm gonna start with video and you give it a headline, which I did, which is the J team working with millennials, a description. I wrote something here, you get up to 200 characters. Now you can upload a video manually or get it from YouTube. I already have this video I created this week uh, working with millennials. It's about three minutes on my J Team YouTube channel for clients. And I just hit the share button, copied this link. And when I came back to command, I pasted the link right here. And when I hit save and apply, it put the video inside this landing page for me. So you'll see the header will show up above the video, the video will show in the center, and then the description shows below it. And again, you only have 200 characters on that. So that's the first one, I click save and apply. Then I click the arrow up in the upper right hand corner and go to widget 
number two. So this is just a form header text, which is not the image, it's this part. What do I want to say above this? So I'm gonna have it say, oops, let's undo that. Here's your undo button. Uh, I clicked something weird. Uh, but I was supposed to have it say, interested, let's talk, register below, save and apply, and that will edit the information in the page down below. Then you click the next arrow for the next section. So this one is the local expert. You don't have to use this one. It's just an example of one I used. And everything with an asterisk needs to be filled in. So I put my information in here. I modified my biography, by the way, to fit for what I'm doing, which in this case is focusing on millennials. Made sure my phone number was correct, information, added the link to my app. And then legal footer, it made me put something in here, so I just left it with the each office independently owned operated. Click save, and you have now created the landing page. The last step would be to publish this. So I'm going to click publish. Are you sure you want to make this visible? Yes. And this will publish your page. Now, before you publish it, one of the things I wanted to do was change the name a little bit because I didn't like all these random characters. So you actually can come to the right, the three dots, and I'm going to say change URL. And I'm actually able to modify just the back end. I can't change the whole one. I can just change kind of what they call a slug, which is just the last part of this. And what I'm going to do is give it a vanity URL, meaning on my web domain, for jteamglobal.com, I'm going to add something that says like millennials.jteamglobal.com and use that as something that just looks prettier. But this is now ready for me to run a Facebook ad if I want to from campaigns. Because it's a landing page, it can see it. I can post on social media. I can post it anywhere and promote it. And this is what the page is going to look like. So here is my little video that I made. I made a great image that shows for the video. Um, I also came in and had a little image below to register to download our 22-page guide. Here's the information, interested, let's talk. Fill in your name, number, information, say you're not a robot. And when they hit the submit button, it will come into my command automatically. I have two links to download my app and some branding. So this is how it's going to look. If I shrink this down to show you the phone version, You'll see that it actually auto sizes the video, which is good. Um, the picture kind of runs over, but it still works in mobile, and all the other forms are mobile responsive. So I'll be testing this out on my phone as well because mobile matters. Thanks so much for watching this video. You can create as many landing pages as you want. There's so many unlimited ideas around this. And one of the things that you can do is create something fun to capture people, whether that's a new listing one and you come to create new site, standalone page, and you can use all the widgets on the right. There's even some for listings if you want to do one for an individual landing page for the listing, saying click here for more information. Uh, I love the video widget that's new, market snaps, legal footer. There's all kinds of great content to create your own and actually take advantage of this platform in creating your own landing page. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found value, please give it a like. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Share it with your friends. We're here to help as many people as possible. And as always, you can follow me on KDB Connect and YouTube today.